Good morning folks, it is Thursday morning the 9th of July and we're going to come together and read from Psalm 20 this morning. Let's read what it says. In times of trouble may the Lord answer your cry. May the name of the God of Jacob keep you safe from all harm. May he send you help from his sanctuary and strengthen you from Jerusalem. May he remember all your gifts and look favourably on your burnt offerings. May he grant your heart's desires and make all your plans succeed. May we shout for joy when we hear of your victory and raise a victory banner in the name of our God. May the Lord answer all your prayers. Now I know the Lord rescues his anointed king. He will answer him from his holy heaven and rescue him by his great power. Some nations boast about their chariots and horses, but we boast in the name of the Lord our God. May nations, those nations will fall down and collapse, but we will rise up and stand firm. Give victory to our King, O Lord. Answer our cry for help. Amen. And that was Psalm 20. Again, it's a psalm which is um, accredited to David. It simply says, it starts for the choir director, a psalm of David. But it really is a prayer to God. You know, in times of trouble, may the Lord answer your cry. It's done on the behalf of somebody else, as you read it. It's somebody praying to God, giving thanks and asking for help. But it's lovely, it comes to it and says, Some nations boast about their chariots and horses, but we boast in the name of the Lord our God. You know, it's remembering that our strength, our help, everything comes from God. It's not from us or how good we are or what we can achieve, but it's about what the Lord can do. Um, you know, nations boast about chariots and horses. Yeah, any nation can have wealth, and wealth comes and goes. But what is our foundation? Where is our help? Where is our strength? Is it in the Lord? That's what it's about. It says, may he remember all your gifts and look favourably on your burnt offerings. There's a recognition there that whoever this is being said on behalf of is there to worship God. Maybe they're in the temple. Maybe they're somewhere else. But they are worshipping and following the Lord. And it's just a prayer for one another. So this morning, who can we pray for? As we think about the current situation, as we think about everything that's going on, whether it's related to that or something else, who can we pray for this morning? Think of somebody who you know, maybe a member of your family, maybe a member of church, maybe just a neighbour. Somebody who you want to ask God to bless and to look after. Think about them this morning and pray for them as uh, we come to God now. So as I pray, then you pray as well for the bad person. Let's pray together. Father, again, thank you for your word. Thank you that on one level it is laid out so plainly and so clearly for us. Lord, thank you that there's so much in it as well as we dig into it. So much it can teach us and share with us. So much to direct us and guide us towards you. Lord, the psalm is a prayer on somebody else's behalf, asking for your blessing. So Lord, we think about that person now who we want to pray for, asking for your blessing upon them. Father, thank you that you always hear us. Thank you that you always answer us. We just pray that this morning you do continue to be with us and help us, guide us and direct us. May we be close to you, we pray, in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining with me this morning. Just remember to keep on praying for one another. Um, think about the person who's struggling uh, and pray for them. Think about the person maybe who's had some good news um, and give thanks for that. Think about the person who um, is just feeling maybe lonely and sad this morning. Pray for them too, that they would know that company. But let's keep praying for one another. Thanks, folks. See you again tomorrow. Bye.